And hello, welcome to another adventure of Lynn's Fall Cleaning and uh, Decorating. Um, welcome, 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 my family, my ride or dies. If you are new here to the channel and you are viewing, please come aboard and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and also the notification bell. We are happy to have you here with us, and we thank you so kindly for joining us. Um, right here, we are going to do my uh, uh, guest room. Uh, I've already cleared everything out. Everything is washed. Uh, so we're going to start here. Making the bed. I enjoy doing this part of uh, my decorating and cleaning. I didn't have to do much. Um, like I said, my front room right here, my guest room, is mostly always ready to go for visitors. And I mostly keep it dusted down. So I try to make the work a little lighter for myself. You have to excuse me, I put the uh, fitted sheet on wrong as you can see. But yeah, um, we don't have to do a lot in this room. Um, because I mostly keep this room, like I said, and my um, guest bathroom are mostly kept clean and in order because those are the first rooms that you see um, when you walk in the front of my house. So I always like to keep those tidied up and looking well and refreshed. So here I'm making the bed. Guys, I don't know about you, and maybe it seems weird, um, but it's something about me making a perfect bed. I don't like the wrinkles in it, and I will fuss around with my beds and things because I feel like when you get in the bed, you want to feel comfortable in it. And so I try to make sure that it's very comfortable, even in my room. Um, and um, I used to work on in, uh, housekeeping, as they would call it, a long time ago at a hospital. And we were taught, my mother taught me how to make a bed, but we were taught how to make beds at the hospital. So my technique is with what my mother showed me and how they used to use a technique for making beds uh, at the hospital, especially those corners. So I like my bed to be really tidied up and I will fuss around with it until it is right. And that's just me. And let me know if some of you are like that, or you just, you know, a bed is a bed and you just throw it on and it's okay. <clears throat> some people feel that, you know, you gotta sleep in it anyway, so why make the fuss? But I just like things night, nice and tidy, you know, um, when I'm cleaning, because that's what I was taught to do uh, coming up, you know. And so I just like it to be, it has to be right for me. So I just thought I'd throw that in there. Hey 
yeah, here I'm cleaning my lamps off. Uh, I use vinegar and water. Uh, for me, it doesn't uh, leave streaks. And so, like I said, it's very light dusting. I had already uh, dusted everything um, the day before as far as, uh, you know, ceiling fans and things. But I'm doing a little dusting around the windows and straightening up the curtains a little bit here. And here's the finishing touch right here. Yeah. So I think it looks comfy enough when I come in. Just simple, just simple, but comfortable. And now we're moving on to my bedroom. As you can see, I just have stripped the bed and here are my clean linens I'm going to put on the bed and everything. And again in here, minimal, you know, dusting um, that you'll be seeing. And yes, here we go. Look at that, okay. See how picky I am. <laughs> I just like it to be tucked around, yeah. Okay, I'll go ahead and let you enjoy the music. From here, I am going to uh, go ahead and do the bed, finish the bed, and then we will move on to the bathroom. So I'll just let you um, listen to the music while we, we go ahead and do this bed, okay?
guys, here we go. The last of the room. I like to bring out my Robbie so he can do what he has to do. That's my buddy. He cleans mother's room very well. And I love it. Another thing, you know, something easier. This is a little easier for me when I don't want to vacuum. So I just use Robbie. And here's the finished portion of the bedroom. Just simple and light. Okay, we're going to head to this bathroom. Ah, yeah, cleaning the bathroom. So here's my before. Yeah, it's my before. So the products that I'm going to use my Myers All Purpose Multi Purpose Cleaner. And that's the lemon scent. And then my Clorox textile for my um, shower. So let's get started with the bathroom, guys.
this is my nightmare, y'all. Um, cleaning out this shower, I used to really hate cleaning it out, but I did go and, and get a, a better shower head, you know, where you could take the handle and everything off, so it makes it much better for me to uh, clean the shower these days. Um, it's not a very big shower, and so it, it was just hectic trying to clean it a long time ago because, you know, I had a different type of shower head, type of shower head on there, but now the shower head that I have on there, I'm, I love it. Um, and I try to wipe my uh, shower down at least every other day because uh, those are the hardest uh, things to clean. I believe that's in the bathroom. Um, so yeah, it works out fine for, for me. Um, it's not much of a chore anymore. So I, I, I kind of like enjoy it a little bit more now since I've got the, the shower head. So whenever I need to use the shower head, I'll, I'll use it. So I really don't have to do a deep, deep clean, uh, except for this, uh, the floor part. I hate the floor part. Um, it grabs everything like, you know, grease on your feet and everything. So I want to find a, a, a product that will help me, you know, eliminate that, that grease that's on the, that catches, you know, the bottom of that tub, like the grease footprints and everything. And see, I enjoy cleaning it more so because I can move around and wipe down and rinse off. This is the best, best thing that anybody could have invent, could have invented. I do get wet sometimes, but you know that's okay. But it's still easier for me to clean, and I do appreciate it. You know, again, trying to find uh, easier ways of cleaning than I used to um, makes it a little bit better for me. So that's what I'm into. Uh, trying to find better methods, and give me some of your suggestions. You know, if you think that that cleaning the shower is is a bit hard or, or easy and, and what do you do you know for your showers you know like I said mine is a little it's small it's big enough for what we need it for but you know it's not too much of a task now but it, it really was before so give me some ideas on what makes e a cleaning easier for you and you know your techniques and um, drop some of those ideas by me and maybe I can try them and make my job a little e a little easier uh, than I'm making it right now.
told you guys I was picky. I messed around with these tiles. It just, it just didn't seem right. Something was off, and that's just how I am. Um, let me know if you're picky in, in certain things, because I'm, I'm picky. It has to look halfway decent. It has to look right for me. And for some reason, this tile just got on my last nerve. Like it just would not sit the way I wanted it to sit. So I fuss with it. <laughs> and I, I fuss with it. You know, I was always taught do your best and 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 get it right. You know, that's that's in the old school. That's what we was taught to give it your best or to do it right. So I kind of got tired and I was like, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> so here's the finished touches, you guys. 